In today's tutorial, we'll be doing a full review and walkthrough of Closer's Copy. Now, if you didn't know, Closer's Copy is an AI copywriting software that you can use to write short and long form copy. I'll be honest, I didn't really have high expectations when going to use this AI copywriting tool. I thought it was going to be like every other AI copywriting tool with the same features and the same templates and nothing to really separate it from the other AI copywriting tools in the market. But I have to admit that I was pleasantly surprised and frankly blown away by all of the new innovative features that's included in Closer's copy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features, the integrations, and the technology that sets this AI copywriting tool apart from others. Before we get into the dashboard of Closer's copy, let's quickly take a look at the pricing. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward and simple pricing. You have your starter plan, which is $29 per month, and that gets you 75 runs or 45,000 words that you can generate for that month. Now, if you needed some more AI copywriting, then you can go with the professional plan, which is $49.99 per month. That gives you 200 runs and up to 120,000 words, and that's $49.99 per month. Now, if you wanted the unlimited plan, so this means you can run as much generations as you like, that is $80 per month, and that gives you unlimited runs. And the great thing about these plans is that even if you go with the starter plan, which is $29.99 per month, you have the long form template included. So within all of these plans, you have the long form template, so you can create blog posts, eBooks, articles, or any other long form content in any one of these plans. So right off the bat, this is really, really good pricing and very comparable to what's in the market. And it's definitely reasonably priced because you can start at $29.99 per month. And even if you go with the unlimited plan for $80 per month, that is still a really, really good price. If you use Closer's Copy and you really, really like it, you have the option to upgrading or buying a lifetime deal. So the lifetime deal starts at $237 uh, one-time payment for the professional lifetime deal. And if you wanted the unlimited lifetime deal, that's $367 one time. So for $367, you have unlimited lifetime access to Closer's Copy. So if you really, really like this tool and you've tried it out and you know that you'll be using it, this would be a very good option to go with. Okay, so this is what your dashboard will look like once you have a Closer's Copy account. So to start writing, you wanna click new project and then just give a name to whatever project you're writing about. And once you've named your document, you want to go ahead and click open. Now, this is where you'll be able to start writing any of your short or long form content. Closer's copy really starts to separate itself from other AI copywriters when it comes to customization and research. I was really surprised by the amount of customization that you can do to help you get better quality AI content. So for instance, you can change the AI model. So right now we're at the blog AI, but if we're writing a sales letter or if we're writing a sales copy for a landing page, we can change this to sales AI, and then we'd be able to get content that's trained to write sales pages, ads, and promotional emails. And if we wanted to write a fictional story, then we can use the story AI model, and the AI will then write us um, better content in terms of stories. But if you're writing a blog post or an article, then you can use the blog AI model. So this is pretty cool. And this is one of the features that I've never seen in any other AI copywriting tool. So I really like the ability to be able to change the AI model based upon the content that you're writing. So that's really neat and very cool by Closer's Copy. Another feature that's really unique and very helpful that I found on Closer's Copy is the compete feature. So essentially, even before you start writing your blog post, you can go ahead and do some blog post research right on the Closer's Copy dashboard. So for instance, since we're writing a blog post about the benefits of yoga, instead of me having to search up the keyword in which I'm writing about and then go through each and every one of these different blog posts that are ranking on the top pages of Google, I can just go ahead right on the Closer's Copy dashboard and search up that keyword and I'll be able to get some information about the top ranking blog post. So once that's loaded up, this is the information that you get. This feature is very comparable to what you would get from Surfer SEO. 
So essentially, you're able to optimize your content and do some research on your blog post. So you get some really, really useful information here from the AI itself. So as we can see, if we scroll down, we can see the average amount of words each one of these blog posts has. So for the top 10 ranking blogs on Google, the average amount of words is 2,438. So we can use this information right away to know that if we want to rank on the top pages of Google, we have to make sure that our blog post is at least 2,500 words. Now, if we scroll down, we will actually see a breakdown of each one of the top ranking websites on Google. So right now, Hopkins Medicine is the top ranking website and we can see the outline of their blog post. So we see the benefits of yoga and then we see each one of their subtopics that they talk about within their blog post. So as you can tell, this is really, really good information and it saves you so much time. But instead of us having to now go through manually into each one of these websites, we can use the feature that's included in Closer's copy to see our competitors and see the outlines that they're using for their blog posts. And again, if I scroll down, I'll see the second ranking blog post and I also can see their outline. Again, if I scroll down again, Healthline is number three. I can see what they talk about. They talk about 16 benefits of yoga that's, that are supported by science and they have a huge blog post about different benefits. And if I continue to scroll down, I'll be able to get even more ideas and even more outlines um, by the top ranking blogs on Google. I think this is an invaluable feature and integration that's included in Closer's copy. And I don't think that this is included in any other AI copywriting tool. I know Jarvis has the integration with Surfer SEO. That means you have to get a Surfer account and a Jarvis account. But in Closer's copy, one account and you have access to all of these features. So that's a huge plus and a very, very impressive feature that's included by Closer's copy. So that's just the SERP overview. If you wanna head over to questions, you'll be able to see what questions people are asking um, for that blog topic. And if we go to stats, the AI actually pulls up every single sentence that has a percentage or a number that they think is a stat and they put it right um, in this sort of section here. So you can go through these stats and if you wanna include it in your blog post, you can do the same as well. And here we have some insights. And if we go to the insights and we click keywords, this will pull up all of the top used keywords um, in this blog post. So we can see that yoga is used 33 times, pose is used nine times, and this actually works better if we have some content in our long form editor here because it'll compare how many times we wrote the word yoga compared to the top ranking blog post. So that can be really insightful um, when thinking about how many times you should include a keyword in your blog post. Now, if I head over to optimize, again, this looks a lot like Surfer SEO. So this gives you an optimization score. Obviously, if you're more to the green, then the more optimized your blog post is. So we can see the target of where we need to be to be optimized in terms of words, paragraphs, sentences, and images. And we'd also be able to see where we're at and how far we need to go to get to that optimization stage. So this is some really valuable information that you're getting from Closer's copy and it makes you not have to get another external software that's going to do your SEO optimizing for you. You can do it all within one place. Now, if we head over to long form, this is where we'd be able to actually start writing content for our blog post. And as you can see on the right hand side, we're able to update our context. So we wanna update our context so the AI knows what we're writing about. So we're writing about the benefits of yoga on the body, mind, and the spirit. And for shortcuts, we're gonna leave that as is. And for creativity and length, this is something that you can play around with. And again, this comes back to the customization that you have that's included in Closer's copy that I haven't seen in any other AI content writer. The first toolbar is the creativity toolbar. And the higher the number, um, the more creative the AI will be. And you can play around with this and see whatever works for whichever content that you're writing. If you bring this a little bit lower, I find that you get some better output because the AI isn't really trying to write the best sentences. It's just trying to get out um, the most relevant content. So you can also change this, um, the length to how short or how long you want it to be. Um, I think in between is pretty good. So in order to effectively use the long form, you wanna combine that with frameworks. And frameworks are like templates in which you can use to get a specific type of copy. So because we're writing a blog post, I'm gonna search up blogs and let's see what sort of outlines 
or templates or frameworks they have for blogs. For our blog posts, we can do a title, we can do an introduction, we can do a conclusion, bullet points, paragraphs, and so on and so forth. So, and you can always combine these frameworks to help you get better content when you're writing in the long form section. So let's go ahead and use the blog post title and get a title for our blog post. So these are the outputs that we get. Um, I would say they're pretty okay, not the greatest. Let's try to increase the creativity and let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I think we got a little bit better content when we up the creativity here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these. So I've added our title onto our long form section here. I've made it an H2. Now let's go ahead and use the introduction. So I'm gonna open the introduction. Okay, so I've added in our title and then just added in a little bit more um, content there. And I'm gonna go ahead and click right for me. Okay, so this is the content that we got. Um, we got a couple different variations here. And I've read through most of these and the first one is actually really, really good. So I do like how it talks, it sort of has a really good hook at the beginning. Are you looking for ways to achieve inner peace and get fit at the same time? Like who wouldn't want to achieve both of those things at the same time, right? And then the second sentence is, have you tried yoga but never made it past the first week, which I think many people um, can attest to that. And are you searching for a new way or a way to connect with yourself and the universe? So this is really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave my cursor here and then I'm gonna click add. So now we have a really good intro paragraph for our blog post. And just to test the creativity, again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this to like a 94. And let's run the AI content here and let's see if it makes a difference once we increase the creativity button. So when we increase the creativity button, um, the first output was okay, second one was sort of okay. I think it's sort of the same. But the third one, um, we got a lot more content. So rather than just getting an intro paragraph here, we go into the actual benefits. Um, it talks about what yoga actually is and some of the history of yoga. So, so I'm not sure as to why we got so much content, but this is really good because honestly, every single one of these paragraphs, we can use it within our blog post. I do like that you get a lot of options and you get a lot of output. So pretty much you just have to go through it and pick whichever one you like the best and then use it within the blog post. So let's go ahead and use the answers listicle template and see what sort of content we get for the benefits of yoga. So this is the output that we got for the benefits of yoga, leaving the creative at 73. Um, I think this one is the best, improved flexibility, improved mental health, improved sleep, aids digestion, so on and so forth. Um, I think that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and try the same thing. Let's, let's crank up the creativity and let's see if that makes a difference in terms of the output that we get. Okay, so the first couple of um, outputs that we got, um, it looks like they gave us the same content, but they just gave us um, some more content with it. So I guess once you go a little bit more creative, maybe um, you just get some more content, but I don't think there's a big difference uh, when you change it up. But of course, just try it out yourself and play around with it and see what works for you and the content that you're writing. You can also generate content by not using any of the templates and just generate it right in the long form section here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna click the right for me and as you can see, it highlighted all of the content that we've already talked about. So essentially, the AI is going to read all of the content previously, and it's going to try to write a paragraph that makes sense. So as you can see, the AI picked up from the last sentence, uh, where it says the word yoga means to join or to unite, and the aim of yoga is to bring your body, mind, and spirit into harmony. And it goes into how this can actually be done. So this is really cool. Um, I like how you can actually see that the AI is able to look back. Uh, I don't know exactly how many characters it's able to look back, but because it's able to look back and write content, you're able to get more relevant content for your blog posts. And also, if you look to the right-hand side uh, from the long form section and you scroll down, you'd actually get some alternative content as well. So you would be able to go through any one of these contents and copy it and paste it over um, if you didn't like this content or if you got some content that you want to use in the next paragraph. Another really impressive feature that's included in Closer's copy is the ability to create workflows. Now, a workflow is essentially a template that walks you through content creation. So if you're new to using AI copywriters or you just want a template in which you can follow 
to help you get some content, you can go ahead and if you're creating a blog post, I would recommend the ultimate blog post. And this is by Nico, which I think is one of the owners or one of the team members of Closures Copy. So you can go ahead and you just click the plus button and now that workflow will be available to you. So essentially, if you're creating a blog post, you just follow the step by step. So you would just go ahead and follow these steps. So for step one, you would just create your headline. So how to be if you're writing a blog post about how to be a better copywriter, then go ahead and click the write for me and you would get a headline. And once you've gotten your headline, you go ahead to step number two, which is a hook. Step number three would be an introduction paragraph. Step number four would be a nut graph if you need that. Step number five would be an outline. Step number six would be your body paragraph and so on and so forth. And you can create an amazing blog post just by following these steps. There's a lot of other features that we can go through, but that's beyond the scope of this video. But with that being said, I'm definitely going to create a full length tutorial of how to use the compete, the long form, the framework, and the workflow functions on closer copy to create long form content. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you can use closer copy to help you create more content faster. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until next time, stay well.